In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us come together in thanksgiving to the Lord for his goodness to us. Today, the Lord grants us the opportunity to celebrate as a universal church the feast of St. Bartholomew the Apostle. Let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins and praying for God's mercy and pardon. I confess, Roman God, and accuse my brothers and sisters, by my arrogant sin, in my thoughts and in my purpose, when I have done and when I have failed as to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the blessing of every person, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, for the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthening in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with twelve gates, where twelve angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had twelve courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets. Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Today we celebrate the feast of St. Bartholomew. St. Bartholomew is known to have been born in Cana, and today's Gospel reading describes how Nathaniel came to follow Jesus. Nathaniel, as you heard, seemed to either be seemed to be either um, skeptical about who this Messiah that Philip was talking about was, or was probably making a joke. Whatever it was. Whatever was in the mind of Nathaniel before he came to meet Jesus was changed, transformed, renewed, revolutionized, Christianized, as it were. By the way, Nathaniel is the same as Bartholomew, whom we celebrate today. Nathaniel was able, after having met Jesus, to see that this is a special person. It's like one of the missionaries in my country who a few months ago had the privilege of coming to meet our Holy Father. And then when he went back and he was being interviewed, and they, were asked, they asked him how did he feel, he said, I felt like I was in the presence of a saint. The presence, the aura of him was so unique. I guess that Nathaniel must have felt something different when he met Jesus. But this morning, I also want to let us be mindful of the fact that Nathaniel, having known Jesus and having decided to follow him, followed him wholeheartedly. He followed him with all his heart and mind and soul. He followed him with his life to the extent that tradition tells us that he went to India and Bohemia and it was there that he was martyred. Some narrations say that he was crucified. Others say that he was frayed, but be it as it may, Bartholomew, Nathaniel, was persecuted. He was killed. And that is why we were read, not only because he's an apostle, but because he is a martyr. Let us think about how Nathaniel came to be. The instrumentality of Philip. I love the conversation between Philip and Nathaniel. When Nathaniel Bartholomew seemed to be wondering whether this was the true, the truly the Messiah, we have found the Messiah. 
the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, the one that we have been reading about, finally he is here. And then Nathaniel is saying, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And listen to what Philip says. Come and see. Come and see. Am I able to say to someone, come and see? To be able to say, come and see, I must have experienced something myself. I must have seen something in a consistent, in a moving, in a radical, in a spiritual, in a profoundly unique manner, which had moved me to the point that I have gotten crazy and I'm in crazy for the Lord. And all I want to do is get everybody infected with my craziness for the Lord. That's why Philip saw Bartholomew and said, come, we have seen the Savior. Don't you want to have the privilege of what I have? It's like a woman, at least where I come from, has seen a very good hair, her product, which does something, you know, for women, as far as I know, I had three sisters growing up, so I know. Um, um, hair product is very, very important. And so when they find the one that is good for them, they make sure that all their friends know about this particular hair product. For, but for, for, for Philip, it wasn't a hair product. It was something far superior to her product. It was a relationship with Jesus. Come and see. My dear friends, you and I have a responsibility of inviting others to come and see, to come and experience, to come and have a taste of the one whose love is so deep and whose grace is so precious and whose Mercy is so abundant, and the one who has stretched forth his hands and says, Come, all of you who are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The one whose mother we celebrate on Saturdays. Come and see is our calling, the tool for evangelization. Have you ever done anything? Have I ever done anything? Have I made it my business to let people come? Or oh, my life is such that I rather dispel people away from the faith. Let us think seriously about this. Because when Jesus came and Jesus preached and Jesus found followers, Jesus prayed that we would grow and be in love and spread to the ends of the earth. Come and see. Can you say come and see when you yourself have not seen anything? Can I say come and see when I am going through the motions just because Grandma said, if I didn't come to church, I will have nothing to do with her will. And so that is why I come to church, because grandma is still around. Or I come to church because of a conviction, a deep belief, a love, something in me that impels me and compels me to come and be at table with this Lord, who feeds me with the finest wheat, a food and a party which even angels don't have the privilege to celebrate. Come and see. Thank God for Philip, we have Bartholomew. And may we say thank God for you because we have others to come to the Lord. Let us pray. <coughs> For the church, may the Spirit conform us ever more fully in accordance with our heavenly call. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may Christ, who sees all things, help them to see the needs of those who are most vulnerable.
we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all who feel overlooked or unseen, may they know the loving gaze of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For this community gathered here, may the Lord help us see one another and all creation with the eyes of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all who have died in the light of faith, may they rejoice in the glory of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for Kevin Laybon and for Bernie Hanley, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in our hearts and peace in the world, for peace in Russia and Ukraine, for peace in the Gaza, in Palestine and in Israel, for peace in Haiti and throughout the world, and wherever there is no peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord God of mercy and love, look favorably on the prayers of your people. For we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to please the sacrifice which you offer to you with humble and with contrite hearts. Lord, please wash away my iniquities and from all my Let us pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our offering, yours and mine, may truly be acceptable to God the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whom honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Bartholomew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord, Lord of heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Let us stay in our daily bread, and forgive us our lives. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God for us now. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Please do not look on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your bowl, who you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us now share the peace of Christ with one another. Ayos Dei. We do is better than Monday. Miserary, we do is better no peace. Beloved, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. This is he who calls Bartholomew. And this is he who has invited all of us to this holy banquet. How so blessed are we who have come to share at the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should my life. the word of May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with his confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, 
but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, Saint Bartholomew, the Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Have a good day. Peace be to God.